there with UC San Diego. My name's Tim Havard. Jacqueline Yu, Jeffrey Meyer, and Arvin LaRosa. We're here studying the free stream behavior of water and microgravity. Research. Uh, we are mainly cons uh, concerned with uh, breakup distance of the column of water uh, depending on flow rate and uh, exit uh, diameter as pertaining to urethra size. We have an experiment here that basically uh, fires a column of water into the main observation area which is then observed by two orthogonal view cameras uh, to get our main positional data as well as our flow rate will be taken. We're using this data to help figure out basically how somebody pees in space and where the best point would be to collect the stream just to help design better collection devices for the astronauts to use. Or right, so when we were in space, you know, <laughs> um, the liquid actually traveled a lot further down the, um, our chamber here that we have and um, it went a lot further than we expected it to. It tripped me up because we actually turned it on and it was like large bubbles like flowing around the entire chamber as the liquid was gathering. It hit the wall and it just like big bubbles are in the chamber and stuff like that. So it was just, I thought it was really cool to see. You know, from my point, from my vantage point, it was really amazing to just watch that stuff. So it was really good. The, I think it was STS-119 astronauts came back from the International Space Station and they did a meet and greet. One of them seemed particularly interested in our experiment and she was talking about, she's like, oh yeah, because it's so uncomfortable to, um, to have to use these urine collection devices and they're not very sanitary and they've got a bunch of splash back. And we're planning to get more data possibly in the next flight and then when we're done with that, print a scholarly paper from, for AIAA. Only males flew on Apollo, so they used uh, two or three different urine collection devices. Now the shuttle has a different one. It's kind of a, an uncomfortable funnel sort of thing and no one really likes to use it. Um, so that's what we kind of want to be able to do at the end is create a very easy to use, um, comfortable one for both males and females. We would use the data that, that we've collected from this year's experiment in order to um, help design something that we could test for next year. I was a blast. <laughs> that first uh, that first parabola when you, when you get out from microgravity for the first time is just an amazing experience. Like you, you'll never have that again. <laughs> Nothing's holding you down, your hair just goes everywhere. It's a lot of fun. You know, you're just sitting down. They tell you to sit down and before you know it, uh, you're, you're hovering a couple inches above the ground and that's a really insane experience. We'd especially like to thank our mentor, Gene Unger, at the Johnson Space Center, as well as um, our faculty advisor here on campus, uh, Keiko Nomura. And we especially like to thank the uh, California Space Grant Consortium for their monetary uh, donation as well as their great advisory help in, in the fact of uh, Dr. Mike Wiscursion.